the author who outsold Dickens, The Life and Work of W.H. Ainsworth. So, uh, like, you don't get, like, you basically kind of get, uh, from the beginning of his career to his death and not much of, like, before that. You get a bit of it. Um, people know more of, like, Dickens and, like, his work, um, but, like, this author is trying to show, um, I don't like shower hair, <laughs> um, the man, uh, author who was at the same time as Dickens, who was in the publishing, um, field and he also wrote a lot of works and you like the general public the general public like today they they might have not read Dickens works but they've heard of him um but with Ainsworth I don't think unless you're really into like English literature or um like literature in general or like what would be like classics you may not have heard of him um so you you get you start off with him um as like an apprentice um it does mention a number of his works and what was going on at the time of him writing that and it being published him having a friendship with Dickens and um, a few other writers and people in the industry. Um, the Lanshire Witches, his um, last major national success, but he, he would have about 25 other works after that. Um, Uh, yes, it does do a little bit of like birth and a little bit, a bit of beginning. My bad. <laughs> um, he would like it does tell like at the end of this life he would move from place to place because like he couldn't really afford um, where he was living so. Um, yeah, he left some small properties in a private library so large it once brought a ceiling down by the standards of his class and his profession. He died a poor man in relation to people he worked with. Um, You do get a bit of like um, imagery, so like illustration or like some photos of like people mentioned in the work. So the burning of St. Paul's by John Franklin. So yeah, um, if you like 1800s authors, um, this is a decent biography of his work mainly and the relationships he has had during his career. So it's something to look into if you want to look into an author that isn't Charles Dickens. <laughs> so yeah, the author who outsold Dickens, happy readings.